We're Lottie and Margaret, and we love e-bikes, camper vans, and cats. We bought and built our last home for $6,000 US dollars, but now stuck in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere, Czech Republic, we've decided to build ourselves an upgrade. With the help of some 3D printers and the Ultimate Workshop, we're building out a modern luxury van for full-time living and travel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to watch the progress. Ready, Millie? So let's do a quick review of everything that we've done on this van so far. We stripped off all the stickers, did a deep clean with some interior rust treatment, we sound deadened the main space, welded the back door, cleaned the bottom and did like an 11 step process in order to prevent any rust from happening below the van. We spray painted the panels, we spray painted the entire body of the van, which leads us to where we are today, which means we only have four things left in order to have completed stage one of this conversion. And those four things are making a new honeycomb mask, reinstalling all of the tiny accessories that we had to take off during the painting process, installing two new windows, and then making sure that we have waterproofed around all of those bumpers and panels. Once we've completed these four things, that means that we continue using this van as our daily driver in order to begin collecting materials and prepping for the interior conversion process. So first thing on our list is customizing that front mask. Yeah, I don't like when these brands are always putting in their logos. I want a completely different grid. So I'm thinking about cutting this out, keeping only the holders from, that you see from behind. So I would essentially unclip this entire black part, keep it only as a frame and attach completely new, more fine grid. I think that's gonna look so much better without a logo. We're just redoing the front mask as an aesthetic. It's not necessary for the conversion, but when the van was already taken apart for the paint job, we might as well add something new and custom. That's my entire professional life around mammoth glue. I could start the entire YouTube channel <laughs> based on a, how, what for I'm, I've been using the mammoth glue because that just takes me through most of the travels at this, at this workshop. We're trying to do this van conversion on a budget of 20,000 US dollars. From the date of this footage, we'd spend about 1,200 US dollars for everything you've seen in episodes one through four. In addition to the 13.2 we spent on the van itself, we have about 5,600 left in our ideal budget for all the episodes to come. Make sure to check out the budget tracker in the description if you want to see some clues to what's coming next. So this morning, 
hopefully the sun will come out so we can do a big cutout of all of the windows. But before we go into that, I wanna talk about where we're sleeping now that we sold our last van. When the pandemic hit, we were invited to stay with Lottie's family, which has been amazing. So there's a huge garden. Every year there's loads of apples, pears. This whole thing is like strawberries and herbs. Um, bunch of raspberries over there and a lot of hunting for kua. The family does a lot of its own food production, which I know I find really fascinating. Um, that is collecting walnuts and it's a lot of pickling. So again, I'm a little bummed or only showing you the garden now because normally we're out here, we're picking up, we're slicing, and then we are putting everything into jars to then be stored to get the family through the winter, which is awesome. Pickling, it's called. Pickling. Right, cool. Huh? Sometimes it burns, sometimes it hurts When you say my name, but thinking of hers I don't want to know, don't want you to go and leave me This is good to measure even twice because I want to be cutting only once Yeah I don't want to see if it isn't me, who's on you What was that? 11? 11.85 11.85 is gonna end up... 85 That looks exactly in the middle I'm going for it <laughs> So he just essentially sanded this all down. It's super smooth. Not that I would super care about rust treatment of such a small details, but if the paint is lying around, why not? How long will that take to dry? Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna hammer the bumper rubber on it and it can cure inside covered as long as it needs to. I can't believe how good this looks. It seriously looks like from a factory. Already right? Can we all just take a moment to admire the professionalism of what is Lottie? Like, I've never seen a craftsman like him. We've decided to install two fixed windows on either side of the van. With the swivel seats at the front and a reclining couch to the side, we'll be able to catch panoramic views of whichever campsite we arrive to. We decided not to shell out the extra hundreds of dollars for the windows that open. While they are certainly great, we'll be using two roof windows for our air circulation. Whenever we want to crack a window, we can just use the two built in at the front of the cab. Full windows such as these are also less likely to be smashed in the case of a robbery. This 
This gluing situation is pretty gnarly. We're using the same glue and technique as used by the professionals, and it's also how windshields are installed. First, you apply the primer on both surfaces in one continuous stroke. After a few minutes, apply the glue just to the window. This glue is its own rubber bumper sealant. Once you press it against the primer, hold it briefly before adding tape to the top to prevent it from sliding. It will take a few hours to cure completely. We are loving these windows and we can't wait to show you our curtain and insulation invention in the months to come. So our final stage of this whole process is to make sure that we have properly waterproofed all of those panels that are along the van. If we don't do that, the entire like de-rusting that we did around that area and painting was all for nothing because once there starts getting moisture in there, it will start rusting again. So now we're going to take a seal and we're going to put it all along the tops and the sides of those bumpers. So when dew comes down in the mornings or when it's raining, there's no way for water to get in there. All right, final stage. After putting on the seal, Lottie is spraying a soapy water against the glue, then using his finger to glide it into place and smooth it over, very similar to how you would do caulking. All the morning condensation now runs down the glass, down the car, and would go straight to this gap and uh, end up inside of that van. And slowly rust from inside out. Not anymore. Just prototyping. <laughs> <laughs> 